Okay, folks, I'm sorry, but I'm about to debunk thousands of vids at once. So the truth of Nibiru is corrected, as I'm sick of people thinking that the second sun is Nibiru. So listen and learn. What you will see in a moment is the truth. The truth and only the truth. There's 30 years of research going to be coming at you. So understand. Right, as I'm going to tell you the truth about the universe and it's no joke and here is all the evidence to prove you to you it's all real. Nibiru is a planet, not a second sun. And the second sun everyone is seeing is a natural occurrence. Now if it was Nibiru, Nibiru would look like this upcoming photo. Now the first photo is the photo that I found on NASA's archives that they're trying to tell everybody is a black hole. It's a planet in deep space. Right now, suns move. Suns create sun dogs. This is a sun dog being created by 14 stars in perfect alignment. Now, as you see, and it zooms in, each shot shows you it's a damn star. Now, the next photo is a series of photos of a star, of multiple stars using some kind of gas cloud to move then all of a sudden it's expanding out over a period of time and over a very short period of time. And as you can see here, they're all expanded out and they're moving off. It looks to be a parent star and multiple baby stars. Um, okay, now here you are seeing suns that propel themselves. That's Nibiru, folks. Not an orange thing found on Google Earth that everybody says just because it doesn't have the bright things on it, the reason why it doesn't have the bright spokes off it, it's because it's far away in the universe. These are stars that propel themselves. I don't know how they do it. Um, this one is bewildering me to this day. But all I know is the evidence is out there. These pictures are from Google Sky. Now, all Google Sky photos are Hubble images. Right? These are the deep space images taken by the Hubble telescope. As you can see, there's multiple stars moving in this, these still images. Now I have actual SOHO evidence a little bit later that shows that stars move. And stars have these bars. Now you can see all these bars coming off these stars. Now the, the fact that we're seeing stars propelling themselves uh, is something we don't get told. Now we, we're told it's an expanding universe because this is what they're covering up is the fact that stars can move. Now, if a star moves, you, we move with our star. And yes, we move with our star. This is of what I believe is some of these um, natural events that we, we experience, i.e. earthquakes and things like that, I believe are really caused by us being dragged along by our star. Now, there's a good proof there. There's more proof there of stars propelling themselves. You can go into NASA and look at the same images if you can find them. These are hidden in a deep archive. Now this is a Soho picture. You can see multiple objects moving at high speed. Sun dogs being created at high speed in natural time. Right? Taken by our telescopes and you're seeing them in real time on SOHO images here and now. You see comets, which we're told are comets, but are actually moving stars, right? Or they could be spacecraft. Now, when you see a comet that turns, um, again, that's something different altogether. But you can see the, in just a, a second, you'll see um, two, a comet or two comets, I think, yeah, two comets. Just coming up the screen, you'll notice that they've got the sun dog bars coming out of them. I believe the sun dog bars have got something to do with the travel. Um, and there they go. As you can see, there's one. Um, you can see other items moving around in the background as well. Now, if it was a planet, you would not see it. All right? A planet is not powerful enough to project an image. Now, you can see something in the star there, like our sun there, a dark image. Now, that, yeah, I would question that little black image in that flare more than anything. Um, because rather than those suns moving along, now that, okay, that what I would say could be a planet. Yeah, 
A planet is dark. It's not bright. You need a sun to illuminate a planet. Now, when Mercury crosses our star, it's, you see a black spot. You don't see a bright star. Now, so many people out there are spotting these things and calling them Nibiru. They are not Nibiru, folks. A, a fool could tell you that, right? I'm not a fool. I've put 30 years research into this, guys. So please understand and listen to knowledge of the universe. Our stars move across the universe for God knows what reason. We get told they are comets. But as you have seen by all the evidence I've shown you in still photos, in these photos here, that these are stars. A star is too bright and too flammable to live on. Okay? Sometimes we will see images on Soho that are not planets. You can clearly make out they're not planets because they're odd shapes. They're illuminated by our sun because they're within reach of our sun. Right, now, these here are moving and propelling themselves. Planets don't propel themselves. Stars do. Right, now, when you look at a planet, okay, I believe that a planet, if you notice at the top of the screen, you'll notice it's moving against the stars and not with the stars. That would be a planet being, that would be one of our planets being illuminated by our sun. Yes, we can see our own planets in our own solar system. But, right, when it comes to Nibiru, Nibiru, for Nibiru to be travelling, right, Nibiru still would be out of our sight and even out of the sight of the SOHO telescope. Right, so we won't see Nibiru. If Nibiru is due in 2012, at the speed and ratio that it is supposed to travel through the universe, it would still be out of sight of our scopes, except for the Hubble, which has the ability to do deep space photography. The SOHO doesn't have it. This is a Hubble image. It has the ability to look into deep space. Right? And there's the proof, because there is Nibiru. Now, when we look at other ones, we look at different things. We look at what the sun does. We look at the amount of the action that's going on. We just saw a, pardon me, a massive meteorite storm, right? And you've got to understand that hot objects are being picked up by the SOHO telescope. Yes, it does pick up our planets because they generate the heat that SOHO right, detects because our sun is heating our planets up, but Nibiru is still too far away. Now, actually, I can see a black dot just in that last one. I saw a tiny little black dot. That one I would query, okay? But when you come to a planet in deep space picked up by Hubble, would look like that. Now, watch this. This is the sun about to propel itself. Here it goes. Any second now, it's propulsion, right then and there and then it all of a sudden it just moves really fast off the screen instead of going slow it moved fast that was the sun propelling itself i believe the jets that our sun pushes out is us moving as well right we move with our sun no matter what because we are stuck to its gravity force so basically we're going to go everywhere with our sun nibiru is going to go everywhere with our sun but unfortunately Nibiru would be too far away for Soho to pick it up, right? Because Soho would still be in the cold reaches of space compared to our sun. But the thing is, Nibiru is too far away for it to be picked up. Nibiru can be picked up by Hubble. There is a picture of Nibiru. It's a genuine NASA image. It is not a black hole. It has an atmosphere, okay? Now, here you can see a comet moving across the screen. You see a star that's creating a sun dog, okay? Our sun creates sun dog. Did so on Christmas morn. It created a dirty, big, black sun dog that was being able to be seen by the naked eye. Now, see this comet? It's just turned around. Soho's tracking it, right? Um, now, that happens because they're slowing down. Any object moving through space that wants to slow down, must turn its propulsion around, right, to slow it down. 
You watch this one. This one does exactly the same thing. In other words, it's reaching its destination. So here it goes. It's turning around, right? Because it's slowing down. Now these are stars, or they, yeah, call them comets, but they're propelled comets, right? Now you think about it. If you're going to push yourself through space, right? What's going to, what's going to, what's it going to be? But you've, I've shown you the evidence that our stars propel themselves. Here is the evidence. Again, here is a star that is turning around. So people out there, that is not Nibiru. Nibiru, they say, is a winged planet because I, they may have associated it with a winged planet because the beings of the Sumerians came on a, like on a comet that was built as a spacecraft. And yeah, it could be. But here, again, I'm going to show you a sun dog. Okay, this is 14 stars in perfect alignment creating a sun dog that is trillions of miles in length. And I mean trillions. Now, you're basically looking at 14 stars in perfect alignment. And yes, they are stars. This is not what you're told out there, folks. You're told that our stars are static. They move because of the, the expanding universe. Forget all that damn crap crap you've had pumped into your heads for so many years. Listen to the goddamn truth because here is the evidence. Our stars move and they move. This is a planet and a planet that's moving, seeing its atmosphere being swept back, that's a star moving, right? Our stars move in the universe. Our universe is vast, folks. There are trillions and trillions and trillions of planets that can support life. But they must, be, so they must surround a star. Whether that star moves, they get dragged along again with their star. And Nibiru is not going to be a star that's propelling itself because you couldn't live on the damn thing. Right, you've got to understand that a star is bloody hot. It's burning hydrogen. Okay, A star can propel itself because it's got tons of hydrogen to propel itself. It's got the propulsion fuel. So somehow either they are intelligently controlled or they are a life form. We don't know. We don't know that much about the universe yet. I don't know that much about the universe, but I do know that our stars propel themselves you are looking at the evidence in front of your eyes folks believe what you see not what you're bloody told by idiot scientists that are covering up the truth and know the truth and they tell you there's all this bullshit oh that's a satellite that's a satellite you wouldn't be surprised at how many times i sent these to this actually this image i sent to them oh mate you've, you've, you've spotted a satellite and I get told that about when I found the 14 sun stars creating that sun dog, they said, oh, it's a satellite flashing across the sky. It's not a satellite flashing across the sky. It's 14 stars in perfect alignment creating a sun dog. Have a look at my Mystery of Heaven videos, guys. You will see the truth. You can see the propulsion coming out of one. Well, watch this in real time. Just as it... One, two, three. See the thrust right there. And then all of a sudden it goes real fast. It propelled itself. This is the second sun that everybody is seeing when they take photos of our sun. Now, if you're seeing a black dot when you're filming the sun, that is because your camera is infrared sensitive. right? I see it all the time on my security cameras when they pick up the sun. I get a black dot always because the sun to me doesn't appear as a, a bright thing on my infrared cameras. It appears as a black dot. So those of you that have the black dot out there on your screen when you're filming the sun, that is because the camera is infrared sensitive and it's how the camera shuts down as to not damage its lenses. Okay, now here is the picture again that proves our stars move, they use, and they swell themselves in gas and they expand it out. Here is a nursery of stars. And the next photo, I'm pretty sure, is the one where you can pick out they've even got a parent star in there because it's brighter, it's yellower. These are newer stars. This is what make these. It's these images that make me believe that maybe our stars are life forms. Right now, look at the bright yellow star and all the other little stars that have come out of that same cloud. 
right? But notice that they're expanding out. Why are they expanding out? Because they can bloody propel themselves. I'm sorry for swearing, folks, and all the parents out there that let their kids watch this. I'm sorry about that. But it's just I'm so sick of Nibiru videos out there where they're saying stars are Nibiru. This is Nibiru. It's the only planet that I've ever found that out there in NASA images taken by the Hubble. So it's something that's close to us but far enough away not to have the brightness of our sun illuminate the closest side to it. Right? So, it, yeah, it's travelling and it's travelling towards us. You can see the atmosphere being blown backwards but being illuminated by the stars behind it. Right? That's the only reason why we can see that illumination around it. Right? Again, if it's a star, they create sun dogs. They put these little wings out and create sun dogs. Here are 14 sun dogs all in a row creating a giant sun dog. It's, and as, as, as I said, it's trillions of miles across. Look at the, the distance between the stars. So, okay, the distance between those stars, it's got to be a damn long sun dog. So you've got to understand, people, you've been lied to all your life. Start listening to some truth. Listen to somebody that has put 30 years of research into this subject. Look at the propulsion coming from the star in this image. You can clearly see it's coming from the star. It is propelling itself. Our stars move because they have the ability to propel themselves. You must understand and you must learn. From this day on, you will know and you will know the truth. You will never ever listen to one of these half-wit astronomers that go out there and say, well, our universe expands. They tell you that because they're told to tell you that by the government. Stop listening to this crap trap and listen to the goddamn truth. Watch this, folks. This is a comet. It's moving through the atmosphere. It's going up, moving around. You'll see it turn around. Here we go. It's starting its turn, right? And then all of a sudden, it's going it's to get tracked by Soho. You can see Soho actually moving up to track it because, okay, they've realised the star was turning. This is a planet. There's a big difference between a planet and a star. Everybody that's seen those winged objects on Soho is Nibiru. Please, I believe we're seeing those images because back then they knew the truth of stars, right? They associated that symbol with Nibiru, but that symbol is not Nibiru's symbol. It's just a symbol from Egyptian, right? A winged planet or a winged sign in the sky is the signature of the when.